And I would like to wood hammer this guy very hard. I'd be really surprised if this doesn't take it. Okay. I mean, this is max attack adamant, grassy, grassy terrain boosted, miracle seed. So many like qualifiers at wood hammer. As they detect, I don't care. If this thing survives, I'm turning off the game. What's up, everybody? How are we doing? Before we start, I want to say that I'm recording this in a completely different setup. Currently visiting my girlfriend in Boston, so the setup might be a little bit scuffed. And also because of my lack of time, we're actually taking a team from a buddy of mine. I just needed something to record with, so we're using this. So from C Buddy, Yo Marcus, my friend has a cool team with an anti-meta pick in Galarian Zapdos that he used in the World Cup that he won both his matches with. I can send the rental later if you're down. Yeah, so I, I didn't have anything to record with today. I didn't build a team this week because I was traveling, so we're using this. It seems pretty cool. I mean, we have Choice Scarf Thunderous Kick Galarian Zapdos, which I think is actually just really sick when you combo with all the other physical attackers in this team. So we're gonna take it for a spin today. If you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and make sure you check out uh, the Patreon for uh, bonus content and also to uh, become a channel supporter. There is a cat in this room. I, I don't know how a cat got into the room. Uh, let's go ahead and borrow this team. Oh, look, the rental code's at the beginning instead of the end. Now you guys can stop complaining. Also, the pace for this will be in the description down below. Sponsor time. This channel is partnered with Gamersups. If you want to support my work and get great tasting drinks, you can order Gamersups through my link in the description down below or with code MOXIEBOOSTER at checkout for 10% off. Gamersups is a caffeinated product that I recommend only to my 18 plus viewers, but my link will send you to their caffeine free product section just in case. Every product purchased through my link supports my channel financially, so I'd really appreciate the support. Now back to the video. So our rank isn't terrible, 1405. It could be better though. I've never used this team, so I don't expect it to get better. What am I facing? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't mind bringing the Choice Scarf Galarian Zapdos. That could be kind of sick here. Uh, we can also lead off with Rillaboom pretty effectively. I actually like that quite a bit. Yeah, I think I get a lot of value out of leading off like this. Man, I don't know. Heatran. All right, so Roaring Moon Heatran. Not a terrible lead, actually. Most Heatran are Terra uh, Fairy right now. So I have to keep that in mind. But a lot of Roaring Moon don't carry Protect either. I think it's in my best interest just to go for Fake Out U-Turn and send in my own Heatran. That was booster speed, right? I'm gonna assume that was booster speed. Fake out you. As they do protect. Are they just gonna double protect? They do just double protect. Okay, that's not great, to be honest. Let me think. We are Terra Fire on this Zapdos, which could help us out a bit to survive in acrobatics. A little bit more inclined to switch here. Because I definitely want to get my Heatran in, right? Rillaboom has the option to protect. Yeah, I think we're going to protect and just get in Heatran. And hopefully, we just eat like a Heat Wave here. Also, we're Terra Fairy Terra Blast, so we can just blow up that thing. Really doubt they go for anything other than like a Heat Wave or an Acrobatics. Or both. Tailwind. Probably Tailwind Heat Wave. As they substitute. Ooh. Ooh. How much do I hate that? I hate it a decent amount. Can't lie. Don't like it that much. Definitely want to get rid of that Roaring Moon. We'll deal with him first. We might have to say bye to the the Rillaboom right away. I'll Woodhammer here. Hopefully we can break a substitute. I really doubt it. Eh, I mean, we're Miracle Seed. Maybe we do. Maybe if they Terra, because they could just Terra here, but I really doubt it. I'd imagine they just want to Earth Power our Heatran, because Heat Wave is kind of off the menu right now, since we have the Flash Fire that we're threatening. They go ahead and knock off our Miracle Seed. That means we are not getting the substitute broken, I'm pretty sure. As they do Earth Power... Ooh, maybe we do. Maybe we do get this KO and a substitute broken. That'd be very poggers. Because we're also preventing our Heatran from losing the Assault Vest, which is really important in this matchup. Does not. But that's within range of Grassy Glide, so that's good to know. We'll also always score this KO. There's no way it lives this. And as soon as that Tailwind runs out, we are just in business to start taking lives with Zapdos. I completely forgot what they had in the back, by the way. There's the Lando. Kind of wish Zapdos is on the field right now, but it's fine. I think I just want to take out that Heatran, but they could also just protect here. I think what I do is I double this Landorus. Assuming that it is Choice Scarf, doubling the Landorus isn't a bad play. We'll go for the Terra Fairy Terra Blast, or actually we'll just Flash Cannon. It's technically better. Eh, maybe the Terra Blast is better. I don't know. But we'll just double the Lando. Terra Flying. Um, I mean, as long as that's into the Rillaboom, we should be fine, but I'm pretty sure we're also fine with Heatran, because Heatran's just that guy. A little bit of chip. Terra Blast. Nah, you eat. We don't eat the Flash Cannon afterwards, though. Probably. They do just go for the Earth Power, which we should always tank. Yeah, that's my guy. That's my guy, Heatran. Okay, so 
There's one turn left of Tailwind. I think it's in my best interest to let Heatran go down, attempt a Flash Cannon, and try to break the Substitute, because I can threaten a lot from that position. Or maybe I sack the Chen Pao? Uh, let's just attempt it. I'll try to break the Sub. Does this do enough? Please tell me it's enough now. Nope, not quite. That is a... Jeez, a wood hammer in terrain? I know it's times for resisted, but I thought that would be enough. I really did. Okay, well, now we're in a bit of a precarious situation because I don't think Thunderous Kick will do it from this range. We'll probably have to Sucker Punch. Left, right, and we're locked into Thunderous Kick is going to be the biggest issue here. Because I don't want to lock Brave Bird either. I mean, I guess I could. Uh, I mean, it is within Sucker Punch range, but I don't like locking in Thunderous Kick when there is a possibility of a Flutterman in the back, but I guess we have to. They withdraw- that's totally gonna be Flutterman, isn't it? Yup, okay, that's rough. I mean, we only have one win con, and that's... Don't get burned, maintain our Focus Sash, one-shot the Flutterman. But we're also adamant Chen Pao is the issue. Heat Wave, don't get burned. Don't get burned and we have a shot. Oh, come on. <laughs> really, Zapdos? Really? You? You're like the whole point of this video, dude. And I get burned on that. Okay, cool. Awesome. Very cool. Very poggers, in fact. All right, uh, let me double you, I guess, just for fun. They withdraw the Heatran. I mean, at the very least, I get a plus one Thunderous Kick. That's kind of cool. Yay. The thing. It's burned, though, so it's not going to do anything. I don't know. Maybe I can crit here? Nope, they're timid. Okay. <laughs> See... That's my thing, right? I, I was I was I was in a discussion with one of my friends the other day saying that I think Adamant Chen Pao is just generally a bad idea. Like I know it has like the extra damage, but I also just like Jolly because you never lose to Flutter in the endgame if you're Focus Sash, you know? I'd be okay with Adamant Chen Pao if there was like Tailwind, you know, like on, on those Tornadus Urshifu Chen Pao teams. Adamant's fine, I think. This is interesting. I think in this position I actually really like this dude if it weren't for the torn chi yu lead that's what's annoying me i think what i'm gonna go with here is this because i should always get off a of trick room go with rillaboom actually rillaboom is like really bad here oh we just we just get a win cool yay <laughs> i got those points back instantly cool uh okay I mean, into this, you could make a case for this dude. The trick remote also seems pretty solid, though. Nah, I want to. I want to go all in on this guy. Probably has to be Zapdos, Rilla. Um, and I'll bring Rig Heatran in the back. All right, Urshifu, Rigorat. So the good news is that is single strike Urshifu. I think it'll drop to a close combat. Don't quote me on that. And I would like to wood hammer this guy very hard. I'd be really surprised if this doesn't take it. Okay. I mean, this is max attack adamant, grassy, grassy terrain boosted, miracle seed, so many like qualifiers at Woodhammer. As they detect, I don't care. If this thing survives, I'm turning off the game. Nope. <laughs> no, it definitely doesn't live that. <laughs> you know, I'm actually not certain if it would have lived without the crit. I really don't know. I, c I couldn't tell you. I really couldn't tell you. There's Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle does not like this Grassy Glide, dude. Yes, it can tear a ghost. However, I think if I doubled the Urshifu, I just went off of that. Close Combat. Grassy Glide. Just in case it's Focus Sash. Because they're probably going to tear a ghost anyways. Yeah, because they don't want to drop. Shout out Iron Bundle, and it's one Terra type. It should just come as ghost. Like, I think that when, when you get an Iron Bundle, it should always just be ghost. All right, and they definitely didn't Sucker Punch. Freeze Dry, we should eat that because it's Iron Bundle. Close Combat. Nice. I was kind of hoping they would Icy Wind because we would still outspeed that Urshifu every time, but then we'd get an Attack Boost. That, that was that was my ideal out, outcome of that turn. Heatran of the Distant Pass. Uh, Yeah, we'll hold on to our guy. As a matter of fact, we'll get in Heatran here. I think I'm going to Protect because I think they want to protect their Iron Bundle. Alright, looks like they didn't. They're just gonna freeze dry. We don't really care. Heat wave, we'll get a little boost to our our dude. Little dude boost. And now they should be very scared. The only issue is we only have four speed investment, so I'm actually quite scared of their Heatran too. Um, but if that's the case, they are kind of forced to Earth Power our Heatran this turn. So I can just go for a grassy glide. Now they just forfeit. They're like, no, none of that. I want I want nothing to do with that anymore. 
Uh, ooh, cool team. I'm gonna use the Zapdos. Zapdos lead goes crazy here. Uh, have a lot of pressure versus them, especially just Zapdos Cerulea. Like, that's just still really good here. Um, bring in the Heatran. I have to be a little bit careful, though, because, um, the Arcanine can cause me some issues. Ooh, you could make a really strong case for that on this lead. Just so I can get rid of that Arcanine immediately. They tend to be choice banned, and that should do it. Nah, I think we just go for Rig. Yeah, that should be fine. I mean, I like the Choice Scarf on the Zapdos. It just threatens a ton of things immediately. I think this team would have been better if there wasn't such a big uptick in Roaring Moon the past two days because of uh, LAIC. But beyond that, like, this team's really cool. Honestly, not the greatest lead for me. I can always U-turn, though, and fake out and get in the uh, Heatran, which is really solid into these two. I'm glad I did Heatran for Rig. That was actually really, <laughs> that was a really safe call. Mimikyu is such an interesting Pokemon because it feels, ooh, Rocky Helmet. Because it feels like it's one of the best Pokemon like ever, just like Splash, but like, oh, I need Trick Room. Cool, Mental Herb, Mimikyu, and you always get Trick Room off. But it's also like, it seems like it doesn't, it doesn't get like the amount of play it really should, you know? And Terra Fairy just seems awesome here. We're just going to do that right away as they play rough. Nah, <laughs> none of that, sir. None of that. All right. Let's get rid of you. Let me see if I'm going to regret Terra Ferrying right away. I mean, if there's a Golden Go, maybe, but I'm just going to... Nope, nope, we're just going to go with it. I'll also protect here. As much as I'd like to Woodhammer that thing, it's just not. They send in the Okie Doggy, and they are going to Terra this guy. I mean, it still shouldn't enjoy this. I am a little bit concerned with the uh, possible Gunk Shot going into my Heatran, but I think that this Terra Blast might send it in range of Grassy Glide. But yeah, I mean, if they're going to go for the Terra there, they probably didn't even Tailwind, because they, they should just go for the... Um, or maybe they're calling the Terra Blast, for all I know. But I think that they were just Acrobatics there to try to get rid of them. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Cool. Let's see how much damage we get here. No, not even close. That is a bulky boy. Concerning. Definitely concerning. So on the gunk shot, I think we just accept the gunk shot and get damage, right? But we need to get rid of you, and they probably want to still go for the acrobatic. So I'll send in for Rigorav, get some rocky helmet damage. Hopefully dodge a gunk shot. I can live a poison jab, right? But hopefully dodge a gunk shot. And then after the rocky helmet, the terror blast should do it. Yeah, they are going to acrobatic, so no tailwind for them. That does hurt, though. So bad. Poison jab, we can eat that. Not well, apparently. Get rid of you. And since their Terra's taken, Psychic is actually, like, really good here. Especially since um, our Ferrigraph is immune to ghost moves. Like, we're, we can just threaten Psychic on that guy immediately. Have to be careful, though. Send in the Arcanine. Yeah, that's my fear here. That was my fear. How can I guarantee this Trick Room goes off, or at the very least, guarantee damage? Because a Flare Blitz would do way too much. I think I sack the Rillaboom, if anything. I think I get in Zapdos, too. I get in Zapdos on the left side, because if they go for a Rock Slide, we'll eat it. But I get in Rillaboom on the right side, and if they go for Rock Slide, Rillaboom eats. It's fine. But if they go for the Flare Blitz, then I get a free switch back into my, um, back into my Ferrigraph, and then I can go for Trick Room in close combat and get this KO. All right, let's see. They do go for the Flare Blitz, probably Choice Band. And now I can threaten Trick Room because, you know, this Poison Jab shouldn't KO my Zapdos. And I'm, I'm under the assumption they're Choice Band, right? If you if you Flare Blitz there, I'm just going to say, you know, prob probably Choice Band. We'll get in the Ferrigraph here. I'll Trick Room up and we'll go for the Close Combat. And this is going to be a really, really scary endgame. <laughs> and they can't threaten E-Speed either. Yes, they can go into their, you know, Mimikyu, but I'm willing to I'm willing to go for this, this little gamble. All right, they do withdraw. I am going to get my Trick Room off. Hopefully I lose my Zapdos, because that's just a better endgame position. Yes, okay. That's awesome, actually. That's actually really awesome. The question is, do they reverse the Trick Room? Because they have to have Trick Room on this thing, right? I think I always Psychic to one-shot the Okie Dogie, and I just attempt a Flash Cannon. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I can do anything else. As much as I would like to Trick Room and Flash Cannon, I don't think I, don't think I can do that. Times four. Maybe this one shots? I mean, we're modest 156. Not quite. It lives. As they do just reverse the trick room, and I think that's over. I don't think we get this. Technically, they do have to lock themselves into Rock Slide here, and that's the only way. And if we're playing for that endgame, my best bet is Earth Power and Trick Room. They Rock Slide. We, both of the Mons live. Play Rough. Okay, so... <laughs> 
I think we just won. As long as we don't flinch, I think we just won. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. Be the Heatran I know you can be. Yes! Oh my god, that was terrifying, dude. That was actually terrifying. <laughs> okay, that was cool. This team's really cool. I like this. I mean, I don't. I every time I play Heatran, I like it. I love using Heatran. Heatran's such a busted Pokemon, right? But I feel like I hardly use it because I just I, the teams I use just don't fit it on. You know, it's hard to fit it onto my type of team. It really shouldn't be though. I mean, you know, recovery, slow bulk sort of stuff. Ooh, whoa, oh, what is yo? What what is that? I don't even know what I'm looking at. This is... What? <laughs> All right. Swagger Mirror Herb on the Sneasler. That's my guess. So you are going to be my best friend in this game. Oh my god. Yeah, no, no, no. You are my best friend in this game. Uh, we'll also lead off with you because I can just like U-turn get in the Heatran right away. Um, And it's just cool. You're just a cool guy. I like you. All right. And dang, this Dragapult's never going to show up to any of these games, is it? <laughs> Neither is the Chen Pao, dude. All right. Let's see. So not the worst lead certainly could be worse. I am i don't know what this does. I really don't know what they're going for here. I'm just going to attempt to get my Trick Room off, and I will just Brave Bird here. I could also D-Gleam. Do I need the Trick Room right away? I would prefer it. I really would, yes. Uh, yeah, we'll Brave Bird. They withdraw. What am I hitting? Tyranitar? Okay. Did they reverse my Trick Room? Yep. I mean, they, they made the call. Makes sense. But honestly, if they're sending in the T-Tar, I don't even want the Trick Room anymore. <laughs> I mean, I can threaten a Brave Bird on that Sinistra now. That's pretty strong. Getting the Rillaboom. I think we'll do that. Brave Bird here. If they're Terra Water, at the very least, Rillaboom threatens, like, a lot of damage on literally everything in front of this thing. And we haven't revealed Choice Scarf yet. For all I know, they'll just Terra right now on the, on the Tyranitar. Since a lot of Tyranitar are running Assault Vest, I would imagine that they either double out or Terra this turn, since they probably can't protect. All right. Pretty sure Farigraph would have switched out second if they switched out the T-Tar, so that tells me Terra. Nope, double. Okay, so they're slower than my Farigraph. Interesting. In comes the Landorus. Bray Bird goes off. Beep. <laughs> awesome. No, I like this position. I really do, because I can just... I have Zapdos and Rillaboom next to each other. I'm just going to start clicking Bray Bird and taking KOs. Does that sound good? I, I think that sounds good to me. I don't know if that sounds good to you. It sounds good to me. Kind of sucks that Zapdos is literally touching the ground, but because it's flying type, it doesn't get recovery. I think it'd be cool if there was like a, an ability for Dodrio and Zapdos and stuff where they still get stab on their flying moves, but they lose the like the weakness as a flying type. So in this situation, and I think I'm going to get in the Heatran actually, because they're never going to go for Earth Power. They should always like Sludge Bomb me or Psychic or whatever. If they Sans here Storm, I'm going to explode. Psychic, yep, got it right. Poggers. And Dire Claw. Ooh, scary. All right. Okay, so from this position, I would very much enjoy taking that uh, that Landris away from them. I'm going to click Heat Wave and Grassy Glide, and I think that with my all my like stuff, that should do it. And we'll Terra up here on the Earth Power and Heat Wave. And if this doesn't do it, we'll lose our... We'll probably lose our uh, Rillaboom this turn, and we can just get in the Choice Scarf Zapdos and win. Terra Fairy is just such a good Terra for Heatran, man. Alright, Grassy Glide. Yeah, that's within Heat Wave range. 100%. Dance Your Storm. Doesn't do it. Dire Claw. We'll lose our Rillaboom. Like I said, we have Choice Scarf Zapdos in the back now. To threaten that, uh... That dude. And... Heat Wave. Double Connect. Take that one shot. Or not one shot. Take that KO. And now, Zapdos can do its work. It's Zapdos time, baby. See, the thing with these videos is it's so hard... To, like, get a Pokemon that... Like, Alright, so, uh, you know the thumbnail? The thumbnail gets you guys to click on the video. Obviously, it's like, oh, look, you know, it's a Zapdos video. And then it's like, oh, I use the Zapdos. But it has to do something. Otherwise, I get comments like, um, Zapdos didn't do anything that whole video. And I have to be like, um, yes, it did. Yes, it did. Zapdos. Uh, Zapdo Zapdos. Zapdos. Um, and also, like I said, there's no way that this thing isn't Assault Vest. So, I don't think so. But Earth Power should still be fine. Ooh, this is scary. They should think that this thing's the fastest thing in the field, so I am just going to go for the Brave Bird. And we'll get in for a graph here. If I were them, I would assume it was the fastest thing in the field. And they're going to tear that uh, Tyranitar, since close combat was very obvious. They reveal Terra Rock. Apparently, I could have just close combated anyways. That's actually, like, the worst outcome for me. 
Because if they didn't protect, if they protected this thing, I just lose. No, they didn't protect it. I saw the shot. Cool. Um, we do know our, we do know that our Ferrigraph is faster than it, so I should be okay just to helping hand flash cannon. Let me check some speed tiers. Please tell me you live this. Oh yeah, no, it doesn't do anything. Okay, that that's weird. Okay, Sandstorm's gone too. Yeah, no, you don't you don't take this. Uh, yeah, if it's slower than our Ferrigraph, then our Heatran is certainly faster. So I can just helping hand flash cannon. That should do the trick. It's got to be a soul bus. There's no way it's not. Hiya. Now he's gone. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Could I have just close combated and the end game would have been easier? Yes, but I did not because I was scared it would be like Terra Fairy or something. But yeah, I mean, this is a pretty cool team. 694, not bad. Almost top 500 with this team. Awesome. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, you know, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, rental code in the description down below, uh, rental in the description down below, uh, as well as a paste. With that, I'm going to call it. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, become a Patreon or whatever, and I'll see you in the next video.